The word pressure is very common almost in our everyday speech. You would hear someone saying, I can cope up with pressure. I work best under pressure. Someone else would say, I don't want pressure for my duties. Peer pressure is also frequently used among many other statements about pressure. What is this pressure all about? In our lesson, we would endeavor to provide a scientific description of the term pressure. Please walk with me to the end of this lesson. The scope of this lesson. In our lesson, we shall provide definition of pressure. We shall state the SI unit of pressure. We shall also describe the factors affecting pressure. We shall state the formula for pressure. And lastly, we shall do some calculations involving pressure in solids. Let's begin with what is pressure. Pressure refers to the force acting normally per unit area. The term normally means perpendicular or 90 degrees. So we can also say that pressure refers to the force acting perpendicularly per unit area. The SI unit of pressure is therefore newtons per square meters. This unit has been derived from our definition. We know the SI unit of force is newtons and the SI unit of area is square meters. So that's where we get newtons per square meters, which can also be written as capital N stroke M squared. And this M should be small m. This unit can also be referred to as pascals, which can be written using the symbol PA. What are the factors affecting pressure? There are two factors that affect pressure and our first factor is force. Pressure increases with force. This means that as force increases, pressure increases as well. And as force decreases, pressure also decreases. This implies that pressure is directly proportional to force. And this can be written this way. This symbol here is a sign for proportion. Our second factor is area. Pressure decreases with area. This means that as area increases, pressure decreases. And as area decreases, pressure increases. This therefore has an implication that pressure is inversely proportional to force. We can also say that pressure is indirectly proportional to force. And this can be written this way. Pressure is indirectly proportional to area or pressure is inversely proportional to area. Let's talk about the formula for pressure. Now, combining the two factors affecting pressure, we therefore come up with pressure equals to force divided by area, which can be written this way, P equals to F over A. We can therefore use this triangle to summarize this formula for pressure and this can be mentioned as pressure equals to force divided by area or if 
F is the subject, then we say force is equal to pressure multiplied by area. As well, area equals to force divided by pressure. Calculations involving pressure. Let's have our first question. Calculate the pressure exerted by an object of weight 500 newtons on a surface of area 10 square meters. Solution. We know that pressure equals to force divided by area. This weight that is given here is the same as our force. So, we substitute the force which is 500 newtons and the area which is 10 square meters as follows. So our force is 500 newtons divided by area which is 10 square meters and this simplifies to 50 and the unit is newtons per square meters or we can say pascals. So our answer is 50 newtons per square meters or 50 pascals. Question 2. A car has a mass of 1,500 kilograms if the area of one tire in contact with the road is 0.12 square meters determine the pressure the car exerts on the road surface. Solution. We know that pressure equals to force over area and so our force equals to the weight but how do we get the weight? Weight equals to the mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength. Our mass is already given as 1500 kilograms and the value for the gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kilograms. So the weight is equal to 1500 times 10 which is 15,000 newtons. And the total contact area is equal to the area of one tire which is 0.12 square meters multiplied by the number of tires the car is having and that is four tires. So the total area in contact with the road surface is 0.48 square meters. Now substituting the force and the total contact area in our, our formula that is pressure equals to force over area, we will have pressure equals to 15,000 newtons divided by 0 0.48 square meters. This simplifies to 31,250 newtons per square meters or pascals. Question 3. If the pressure exerted on a table by a square metallic box of side 50 centimeters is 800 pascals, what is the weight of the metallic box? Solution. Pressure equals to force over area. That's the formula that we know. But area equals to 0 0.5 meters times 0 0.5 meters since we are told that this is a square metallic box. Therefore, our area is 0 0.25 square meters. Now we substitute what we have in our formula and that is pressure being 800 pascals this equals to force we don't know the force but we know the area is 0 0.25 square 
meters. Therefore, making force the subject, this implies that force equals to 800 multiplied by 0 0.25. And our answer is 200 newtons as the force exerted. Question 4. A rectangular wooden box measuring 50 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 25 centimeters is 1.250 kilograms. 1. Determine the maximum pressure exerted on the surface of a table. 2. Determine the minimum pressure that the box can exert on the surface of a table. Solution. We are first going to draw the rectangular wooden box. Then, after drawing the rectangular wooden box, we provide for the measurements. That is 50 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 25 centimeters. Then, force should be equal to the weight, and weight is given by the mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength. We already have our mass which is 1.250 kilograms and then the value for the gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kilograms. So the weight is 1.250 times 10 which gives us 12.5 newtons. On to our first question. We are required to determine the maximum pressure exerted on the surface of a table. For us to get the maximum pressure, we consider the minimum area. Since in the factors, we already saw that area is one of the factors affecting pressure and uh, we also discussed and said that the lower the area, the higher the pressure, and vice versa. So, maximum pressure equals to the force divided by the minimum area. For the minimum area, we consider the least measurements of our rectangular box, and that is 10 centimeters by 25 centimeters. 10 centimeters is the same as 0 0.1 meters and 25 centimeters is the same as 0 0.25 meters. So, maximum pressure equals to our force which is 12.5 newtons divided by the minimum area which is 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.25 the answer should be square meters for the area. So if we simplify this expression, we will end up with 500 newtons per square meters or pascals. On to our second question. We are required to determine the minimum pressure. So here we are going to consider the maximum area so we say that minimum pressure equals to the force divided by the maximum area so how do we get the maximum area maximum area is obtained by the maximum measurements or the greatest surface and that is 50 centimeters by 25 centimeters. Therefore, we substitute the value for the force which is 12.5 newtons then divided by maximum area is equal to 0 0.5 meters times 0 0.25 meters. So simplifying this, we shall get 100 newtons per square meters or pascals. 
it's now your turn to try out some few questions and test your understanding. Question 1. Determine the pressure exerted by a solid of weight 6.5 newtons on a surface if the area in contact with the surface is 13 square centimeters. Question 2. The approximate area of a student's foot is 210 square centimeters. If the student is 50 kilograms, determine the pressure the student exerts on a table while standing on it. Question 3. A rectangular metallic box measuring 15 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 5 centimeters is 3,200 grams. Roman 1. Determine the maximum pressure exerted on the surface. Roman 2. Calculate the minimum pressure that the box can exert on the surface. And lastly, calculate the pressure exerted on a table by a 5 kilograms cylindrical can of radius 14 centimeters. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you soon.